someone who obeys one God, he is a Muslim. And a God created us, so we have to believe in him. That's why I'm Muslim. Right? Mike Free. Okay, great, great. So, uh, according to you, you have to obey Allah. Okay. But if we go to the Quran, Mr. Hunted One, if we go to the Quran, in many ayahs we find obey Allah and obey Muhammad. So, according to the Quran, it's not enough to only obey Allah, right? So, you must, it's a must to obey Muhammad. So, doesn't that mean, doesn't that mean that it's not enough to only obey Allah. So that means here, if we think logically, when we read obey Allah and obey Muhammad, that means Allah and Muhammad are equal in Islam. Allah and Muhammad are equal in Islam. Yo Mike, can you, can you tell us why it's needed to obey Muhammad? I mean, if we look at, uh, look at it and use our mind, it means Allah and Muhammad are both God in Islam. So how can you say, how can you say that you only worship one God? Uh, clearly, you have you worship two gods, Muhammad. You must obey him, and you be, must obey Allah. Your mic. Okay, thank you. Mm, yeah, this is beautiful question. Atiyullah wa ati Rasul, like obey Allah and obey Muhammad, right? Yeah, Not thank only you. that, right. obey Allah, <laughs> obey Jesus, obey Allah, and obey Ibrahim, Musa, every prophet. You know why? Because you can't talk to Allah. Guys on Discord, uh, he didn't uh, he reject what I just said. He said, yeah, you must obey Muhammad and Allah. So he agrees with he me. He delivered the message to them. And we get message. Um, whatever Allah or God wants to uh, follow us, we get this information from his prophets. Right? So he told us, he, he says that you have to follow these people to obey me. So please obey these. Hunted, hunted. Okay, okay. Uh, I understand, I understand, but I think you didn't get my question. Just a second. Uh, please listen, bro. Uh, I, what my question is, isn't it shirk, isn't it shirk when the Quran says, obey Allah and Muhammad at the same time? You are not a Muslim, and let me ask it uh, in a different way, or explain it in a different way. You are not a Muslim if, if you only obey Allah. You have to obey also Muhammad. If we think about that, that's clear shirk, my friend. You cannot be a Muslim if you do not obey Muhammad. That's 100% shirk. Shirk means you are worshipping someone else besides Allah. And the ayah is direct, the ayah is clear. It says obey Allah, obey Muhammad. And we see the same ayah, we see it in many other chapters in the Quran. How is this not shirk? Can you explain your mic? Because it doesn't say obey Jesus, it doesn't say obey Moses, it doesn't say obey uh, Abraham, it says obey Muhammad. So here, here it's not enough to only obey Allah, you have to obey Muhammad. That means you are having Muhammad who is co-equal with Allah as God. Your mic? Right, do I have sound? Yes, you have. Do I have sound? Okay, exactly. Now, uh, let me finish, Rob, right? Please give me si uh, time to complete, then you can come and talk, right? You, you just said that Quran doesn't say that you, d you don't have to <clears throat> follow, like you have to obey Muhammad and Allah, and there is no ayat which says that you have to follow Jesus and obey him, right? So let me tell you, there are many verses you can go and find out, right? If you if you have ever ha have been reading Quran, you will going to know that that Allah says the people of Nu that you have to follow and obey Nu, the prophet Noah, right? And same goes for Ibrahim, Musa, and every prophet. Allah says obey them, follow them. Is this? How will you follow God? You follow the commands of God through Jesus. Right? Jesus told you to do this and do that. God loves you. Who, you know, who told you about God? It was Jesus. Forget, forget about that, Hunt One. Let me ask you a different question. Can you, can you be a Muslim uh, if you say uh, your Shahada only as uh, La ilaha illallah or Muhammad Rasulullah? You take the, uh, the, the last part out, right? 
you Muslims, you always say that Shahada. Can you take the name of Muhammad out of the Shahada and still be a Muslim? You are Mike Hunted? Yeah, you can exactly say La ilaha illallah and you are Muslim. But you have to believe in Muhammad also. So, so basically, uh, you just uh, lied about the Shahada. No, the Shahada is clear, crystal clear. It says, La ilaha illallah wa Muhammad Rasulullah. So you cannot remove the last part, else you are out of Islam. So why are you, why are you changing it? Why are you lying, Mr. Hunted One? Can you tell me why are you lying? Mic free? Okay, first of all, why don't you tell me why you are giving me darts? Why don't you let me talk first? Okay, give me some time and then you can come and talk. Well, who told you that if someone says La ilaha illallah, he is not a Muslim? In Quran, Allah says, the shahada is a La ilaha illallah. Okay. So are you telling me that the moment Muhammad changed the shahada of Allah, he went against Allah? Is that what you're saying? Because the shahada that every Muslim that I know, that I've spoken to, says always, uh, La ilaha illallah wa Muhammad Rasulullah. But you, you, according to you, Muhammad changed the La ilaha illallah in the Quran. He changed it. He basically added, he did bid'ah to the, to the words of Allah. He innovated Islam. Is that what you're saying, Mr. Hunted, your mic? Hold on. Stop jumping. Hey, Rob, I like Hunted. No, I like him. Yeah, I like this kid. I want this conversation to happen, and I don't want him to. Fi I don't want him to run. I like this kid. I think he has potential. You know why I think he has potential? Because he's willing to submit. I'm okay with that. I understand submitting to God. I, I get it. But to what God is the question. So, I like this. I like this kid. I think he's got potential. So, Rob, uh, hey, hunted one, can you answer Rob on this question? I think you'll do good, buddy. Your mic. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> nobody changed the Shahada. If you're going to read Quran, the Shahada in the Quran is the same. La ilaha illallah. And in no, no, hunted. No, no. The Shahada has changed because you Muslims cannot take out uh, Muhammad from the Shahada. Because Muhammad in the Hadith says, you have to say La ilaha illallah wa Muhammad Rasulullah, right? So yeah, there, it is changed. Muhammad sh changed it. He, he did bid'ah. He changed the, the Shahada, right? Because the Shahada that you now have is not in the Quran. So here we see uh, Muhammad changing changing the words of Allah, adding to the words of Allah, and now you have a new shahada, right? So you cannot change the shahada because I know if you go to Saudi Arabia or any country that has Sharia law, and you say La ilaha illallah and you want to scream out loud, you say, hey, uh, from now on we cannot say Muhammad in the shahada, they will, they will destroy you and they will destroy your family. They will cut off your head, my friend. Hunted one. So no, you cannot change the shahada. Because the Shahada is, is clear, it's changed, Muhammad changed it in the Hadith, he said, you have to mention me too, right? Even in your prayers you have to mention Muhammad and ask him uh, to intercede for you. Interceding here means it's shirk again. So here we have in the Quran, you must obey Allah, you must obey Muhammad, that's crystal clear shirk. The Shahada, uh, Muhammad changed it for his own uh, political uh, ideology, right? So he changed it from La ilaha illallah to La ilaha wa Muhammad Rasulullah. And we have uh, on top of that, uh, we, you cannot change it because uh, if the moment you change it, you'll be killed. Right, hunted one? Mike free. Hayden too. Hayden wants to convert. I'm right behind Hayden. You know what, hunted one? Alhamdulillah. You know, Allah would praise even you if you got to get us to convert to Islam and if you can answer Rob's question I'm ready to do the Shahada any way you want me to do it 
do you say, Hunter? Can you can you answer up for me? Thanks, buddy. We're all rooting for you. Whoop whoop. Do I have sound? Please don't give dots. Okay. Do I have sound? Okay. Well, Rob, let me tell you. When you talk about Quran, Allah, Prophet, you have to talk about Quran, not about Saudi Arabia or Africa. What what they are doing? This is not my concern. You're talking about Allah, then you have to go to His book, and what it says, right? The book says the Shahada is La ilaha illallah. There is no god but Allah, and the next part. Yeah, but wait a second, hunted one. I understand that the Quran does say that. That's exactly my point. That's exactly my point. But Muhammad in the Hadith, he changed it. He he added to the words of Allah. He added on top of La ilaha illallah. He added Wa Muhammad and Rasulullah. So it's not enough. Do you understand? It's not enough. In according to Sharia Allah, now today now, because you have to follow the Quran, you have to follow the Sunnah. And the Sunnah says Muhammad in the Sunnah says, La ilaha illallah wa Muhammad Rasulullah. So when you are going to remove that part, because that's what you're doing right now, that means you are now doing bid'ah to the words of Muhammad. Because first we have Allah saying something, then Muhammad changed it and he added it on top of it, his name, right? Then you, basically you are now doing what Muhammad did, you are again changing and taking Muhammad's name from it. So we have Allah, then we have Muhammad abrogating what Allah said, then you are abrogating what Muhammad said. So who, are you a prophet too? Is that what you're saying, your mic? Well, you are not listening to me. Well, <clears throat> bring me any hadith which says, if you only say la ilaha illallah, you are not Muslim. Bring me that hadith. I want to read that hadith, right? And the second part you are talking about, this is also mentioned in Quran, but friend verse that Muhammad is the messenger of God. Okay? So don't mix things up, right? When we say we have, we, we are not um, uh, making partners with God because this is exactly the same meaning that mud is the messenger, not the God. God is only one. This is the Shahada, right? So don't mix things, my brother. <clears throat> you have to find out. You have to read Quran. And if you ever read that hadith which says, Muhammad says, if you don't mention me in Shahada, you are not Muslim. And if if you only say la you are not Muslim, bring me that hadith please. If you only say la ilaha illallah, you are Muslim. That's it. Khalas. Okay? You don't need anything to mention uh, to be a... Did you ask me to show you a hadith? Really? Okay, no problem. Let's see. If internet will work. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. <sighs> let's see uh, let me read for you a hadith Abdullah said whenever we prayed behind the Prophet we used to recite in sitting peace be on Jibreel Michael peace be upon so and so once Allah Apostle looked back at us and said Allah himself is a salam peace and if any one of you prays then he should say at tahiyatu la lil allahi wa salawatu wa tayyibatu assalamu alayka ya ayyuha an nabi rahmatullah wa barakatu you see so yes you have to always mention muhammad right peace and blessing on muhammad right sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ashhadu la ilaha illa allah wa muhammadan rasulullah here is the hadith what are you talking about? Is that a challenge? Here's the hadith. Let me post it in a room for your pleasure so you can read it. I mean, come on. What, what kind of challenge is that? Are you challenging the Rob Christian? Guys, can you see the hadith? Can you see the hadith? Tell me if you can see the hadith. Okay. Here, read this part. Ashhadu la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Boom. In your face, man. Uh, thank, thanks again for exposing Islam. 